What is going on everybody? Gabmos here and welcome to this new video. Today I will be reviewing Chaos, a Linux distribution made from scratch and focused on KDE. So with no further ado, let's get into it. KOS or Chaos is a Linux distribution made from scratch. It focuses on providing a pure straightforward KDE desktop experience. Many think it's based on Arch Linux, but that's not true. Chaos tries to take the best out of many distros, but manages to stay independent. But let's go step by step and begin with the live and the installer. As far as the live goes, it's pretty standard. We boot in and we are greeted by a small welcome app. So we go straight to the installation just to discover how beautiful the installer is. I was really surprised to see such a simple but high quality installer. The installation uses mostly, if not only, the content of the ISO, so you can probably install it on an offline machine too. As the installation concludes, we reboot into the system and we are greeted by SSDM with a weird theme I didn't like that much. Going a little bit technical here, this distro uses Pacman as a package manager, so it's also a rolling release. One big plus in my opinion. It also uses systemd. So many people criticized it, but really I think it's not half bad. Why would so many distros use it if it was? As far as Pac-Man goes, it's been slightly themed. You see here the loading bar assembles the little Pac-Man hitting the dots. Looks cool. As you probably already noticed, KOS uses Plasma 5 desktop environment. KDE has done a great job with it, but it still feels, well, like KDE. Every time I use a KDE distro, it always feels overwhelming and distracting, and Plasma 5 makes no difference, even if it's a little bit better, but I think this goes down to personal preference anyway. The thing KOS uses is called Midna, which I think it's based on the new Breeze theme, with slight improvements and changes here and there. Still, I'm not really a fan of the 100% flat design with close to no outlines, but again, this is just my personal preference. One little side note I want to make is... What is this? This bar over here in Dolphin. Why does it look like this? Guess it's a mystery. I changed themes, but it still stays the same. But let's go on. KOS includes a Pac-Man frontend that's called Octopi, a nice old-style package manager. Speaking of which packages are included in the KOS repos, there's most popular software you may want to use like Google Chrome, LibreOffice and proprietary NVIDIA drivers. To my surprise, Steam wasn't included. Most GNOME apps like gedit are also missing, but that's the point of KOS. You should only be using KDE apps. Since KOS uses Pac-Man, I tried installing AUR packages. Some I tried didn't work, but simpler ones did, and that's still a pretty good plus. Speaking of Plasma 5, I was impressed by the quantity of possible customizations. That's not really a surprise, that's what KDE is all about, but they added even more stuff in this latest iteration. The settings app looks complete and features packed, with dedicated control panels for even more complex stuff like auto-start apps, background services and systemd controls. About the stability, KOS is overall pretty stable, but I still found some little bugs here and there. Nothing to be concerned about, but still you got to know it's not perfect. One thing that impressed me is that it's extremely fast. I'm running it on VirtualBox and it's still going like a charm. I experienced almost no stutters or lags and the loading times were really fast too. This is probably because KOS uses only 64 bits libraries and almost no libraries that don't belong to KDE or QT. If you like KDE and you aren't bothered by the absence of 32 bit libraries, KOS is really worth a try. So, guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.